Bishop Michael Nazir Ali has voiced concerns over a new proposed counter-terrorism bill. The measures would include banning orders for extremist organisations which seek to undermine democracy or use hate speech in public places. But Bishop Michael believes while the proposals would be aimed at tackling radical Islamic extremists, Christians could be targeted instead. Well, yes, I mean, we've had a recent example of this with the Trojan uh, horse um, situation in Birmingham, where the Department of Education's inquiry uh, about what is taught in schools uh, came about because of this exposure of the attempt to infiltrate and to take over certain schools in Birmingham by Islamist extremists. But in fact, uh, the results of the inquiry um, appeared to be uh, targeting not that situation, uh, but certain kinds of Christian schools. Now, you may disagree with what they were teaching, but they certainly are not a threat um, to the social fabric of the nation. So it is quite possible that what is imagined will be tackling Islamist radicalism will end up targeting Christians with their views, for example, on the sacredness of the human person from the very beginning to the very end of life, or their views about marriage and the family, uh, or their views about justice in the community. I mean, there are so many things that could be targeted like that. And Bishop Michael is encouraging Christians to make their voice heard over these proposals. I hope that Christians will participate vigorously in the debate, that they will make an input into what is being proposed, criticize what is wrong, not just for, to protect themselves, but to protect freedom of speech generally in society. Um, and I hope that this time there is no empty consultation with a foregone result as we've had in the past, but a real listening to people's concerns and a desire to amend uh, legislation, for example, if uh, it is wittingly or unwittingly uh, leading to situations that prevent free speech unnecessarily.